having good, healthy routines at any time of your life is going to make or break your health, your happiness, and frankly, your wealth. Now, don't roll your eyes. What do you mean? A solid routine of exercise, good sleep, and financial habits will absolutely make the difference in your retirement. You might be surprised, but a lack of routine in your life will lead, can lead to poor health, a low sense of purpose, actually poor relationships, and an overall sense of feeling like a rudderless boat drifting at sea. You love that analogy. I do. I use that on every video now. I love that. <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about this important topic, why people dislike routines, why it's hard to start a routine, and how routines can improve your life. And we want you to stay to the end because we're going to share with you, it's the best part of the video, our routines. When we get up in the morning to when we go to sleep at night and what we've done over the last four years to really create amazing routines for ourselves. You know, we have a friend and a client who spent 40 years working in the school system. What's his our, alias name? I love our, coming up with alias names. I know his real name. Frank. We'll call, we'll call, Frankie. Okay, Frankie. Frankie. Um, he retired in June of 2020, and he wanted nothing to do with a routine. I mean nothing to do with a routine. He still got up early, and he still went and got his coffee at his favorite deli. Well, because he wanted to see all of his buddies, and he got caught up um, on what was happening in his old job. And then he came home around 9 o'clock. Right. And his wife was still working. so She he, was gone. So he did a few chores around the house, and then he turned on the TV. And then June, he retired in May, June, July, and August. He got addicted to daytime TV. He was watching reruns of game shows for three months. And you know, in September, he finally realized he was in trouble. He found some part-time employment. He still went to his deli and grabbed his coffee, saw his buddies, and then off to work. He became a supervisor for a contracting firm, and he was done every day by 2 o'clock. And he loves it. He's really handy, and, you know, he doesn't really do anything. He oversees people, and he's got a great personality, so he's perfect at this job. And then by 2 o'clock, he's free to do what he wants. So let's talk a little bit about the reasons why people really dislike routines in retirement and why they just really fight and push against it. And the first one is some people just, they've had routines their entire career, and they feel it restricted them. So they say, you know what? I don't want a routine. I just want complete freedom and flexibility. Right. They prefer to be more spontaneous and have an unpredictable lifestyle. Yeah. You know, no more alarm clocks, no more schedules. They just want to embrace this feeling of freedom. And honestly, we understand that. We felt the same way at first. Yeah, we, we did. We did, for sure. And we kind of lost our way a little bit. But, you know, routines can become monotonous and repetitive. But it's the, the thing definition is, of routine. It is. But the <laughs> thing about it is, if you're doing things that are good for you and that you enjoy, then it's a good thing. I think people associate routines with a negative feeling of, oh my God, I have to do this every day. Well, if it's doing something you really like, then it's a good thing, right? Yeah, but these are the reasons why people run away from routines, Correct. right? They right. they just, they want, the second one is they want this spontaneity. They want a range and variety in their life, right? But if the routine's giving you what you want in life, then it's a good thing. And that's where people get stuck. They don't realize that a routine could be a good thing. You know, the third reason people kind of run and push against this idea of routines is, you know, they actually have true work-related burnout. And that can cause people to shy away from any and all routines. You know, if someone experienced burnout or stress from their work routine, they are going to prefer not to have any routine. Right. And that's what happened to our friend, Frankie. Frankie. <laughs> Frankie, so, Frankie so, watches these videos. So you so. are identifying, I know you're identifying with why you'd want to resist the routines. But let's then take a step into talking about why routines are important. You know, there are clear health benefits that we want to share. When, and when you understand these, you may rethink your position. So first of all, routines are going to bring you some consistency and some structure in your daily life. And you might say, well, I just told you I don't like that. But if you can plug in some healthy habits, then it's easier to stick with them over time. Because we, you know, it's a 30-year window of being retired, and we want to make sure we're healthy during that time. So we've got to make sure that if exercise is a thing, 
that it gets on our calendar and it happens on a regular basis. And the second thing is routines can actually reduce stress. Knowing what to expect from your day every day can actually decrease your stress and anxiety. So when you have a routine in place, you're not really worried about what's coming next or how you're going to manage your time or how you're going to fill your day. You know, um, I did a video on this a year ago when we made the transition from Florida back to Connecticut. For about two weeks, for whatever reason, I wasn't sticking to my routine. And again, stay to the end because you're going to love the routines that Jody and I do because they're so helpful and healthy. But when I stopped doing that for a day or two, I noticed a change. But I didn't do it for two weeks and I found myself in a really bad way. Do you remember that? I do remember that. And I was unbearable to live with. You were Krabby Abby. Krabby Abby. <laughs> why, why is my name Abby? I don't know. Anyway. You know, <laughs> the other thing to think about, and it's, and it's backed by a lot of scientific studies, your routines are going to help you get better sleep. You know, as we age, sleep becomes even more and more important to our health, and having a consistent sleep routine will help improve your quality of sleep. I don't think we can emphasize this enough. You know, people... I'll tell you what, this is one part of the routine I've always resisted. Yeah. But, but when I stick to it, going to bed and wake, going to bed at the same time and waking up at the same time each day actually does regulate your natural sleep cycle. Well, we both wear the Aura Ring. Right. And we both are huge fans of the Aura Ring because one of the things that it does, probably the main thing for us besides steps, but it tracks our sleep, the quality of our sleep, the length of our sleep, deep versus REM versus light. I'm not going to say we're obsessed with sleep, but we understand the importance of sleep and having a good routine to go to bed at the same time and wake up at the same time really helps with our sleep a lot. So another thing to think about is your routines can help you better manage your time. You know, you heard this at work your entire life, especially during your career. You know, if you ask anyone in retirement, they will say they are busy all day long. And if you're still working, you say to yourself, what are you busy doing? Right. But their routines help them manage time more effectively and more efficiently. You know, by setting aside certain times and specific times for activities like exercise, meal preparation, even relaxation can ensure that you have time for everything that's important to you. Again, going back to the very beginning, people dislike routines because it forces them to do certain things. But if you're doing the things that are important to you, then it's good. Right. Now, the other thing that routines help you with is it improves your productivity. You know, if you break the day into smaller, more manageable time periods, you can focus on what needs to get done and not feel overwhelmed to wake up in the morning and know I got to do 50 things. Well, right. what am I going to do from 8 to 10? Right. And then from 10 till noon. So I mean, it definitely it, helps us fitting in health and wellness while running the business. Yeah. No, without, without yeah, routines, sure. we'd be dead. You, you, you know, know, overall routines can help you establish healthy habits reduce your stress, improve your sleep, and manage your time, which increases your overall productivity. Right. So why don't we touch on why people struggle with getting started with routines real quick, and then let's talk about our routines. Okay. So the first thing is they lack motivation. They might not have a clear reason or vision why they're doing their routines. Routines are really habits right. that become part of your life. But habits are hard to start. They are. And, you know, the third thing is you might have a fear of failure as you start getting into a routine, mm -hmm. right? So those are really three things that people struggle with to start a routine. And, again, a few reasons why routines improve your life. First, you're going to get a good sleep schedule. You'll feel more energized and... Um, have you know have more energy during the day and then you're going to stay active right when you're anchoring things onto your calendar at a regular time creating a habit regular exercise is going to help you maintain your physical health improve your mood and reduce your stress and the other thing is good routines are going to help you stay connected to friends and family if you schedule social time with people then you're going to connect with your friends like you really need to you know maybe a daily text to the kids Schedule time to call friends. Always schedule time in your day to connect with somebody. It's important. Why don't we go through our routines? Because okay. this, this is going to be fun. So let's talk about our sleep schedule. And like you said, if you go back just when we retired, we were on a different schedule. But Jody has this thing where she wants us both to go to bed at the same time. I don't know where it came from. But well, it's we go to bed at 10 o'clock, right. sometimes 9 o'clock. <laughs> 
Um, I get up at five, sometimes four, and you get up at six. I do. But we have, that's very consistent for us. It is very consistent for us. The 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. is very consistent. And then our morning routines are different, right? This is where we kind of split up, right? They're different, but they're consistent. They are consistent, but you do your 20 minutes of exercise with your app, Freeletics. In the garage. You yeah. do your meditation and headspace, and for then you start minutes. on your journaling, right? I journal for 20 minutes. So I have an hour of my alone time every single morning. So you get that all out of the way, and then I get up. You and, show up. And we have about 30 to 45 minutes of coffee kind of setting the stage for the day. And then I head off to well, yoga. Well, we catch up. You know, what are we doing for the day? But what are the kids up to? You right. know, because we're busy during the, you know, the day before. What how, what was good about yesterday? What are the kids up to? You tend to text to all your girls every day. Actually, there's a group of about ten. <laughs> I text yeah. to a lot of yeah. a lot of young women that are in my sphere. But then but, you head off to yoga. But then I head off to yoga, and I'm gone for an hour and a half or two hours. So we have that kind of split time. Right, Tuesdays and Thursdays, in Florida in the in the winter, we have pickleball from eight to eight to nine forty five every Tuesday and Thursday, and Wednesday morning we play golf. These are physical activities that we schedule on our calendar together, and it's rare that we miss it. You know, and then we have our work schedule, and and that's a real routine, and it wraps around everything else. You know, Retirement Transformed we have that we work on Monday through Thursday. Right. I You've just got started the Men's Wisdom Circle, the men's wisdom which is another circle. whole group online. And usually Fridays, well, not usually for me, usually for you on Fridays, every Friday for me, I take off. Right. I'm I'll just not going to work on Fridays. Right. Then we schedule time with friends and family. Dinner once a week out for sure, or we cook and have somebody come in. We, we connect with the kids on a regular basis. It really is important. So, so that I don't know. Did we miss anything on our routine? No, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. A yeah. lot of it is purposeful and intentional connections. Right. So whether you like routines or not, part of your day should be planned and it should be consistent, especially your sleep your exercise, and your social engagement. And you know, when you look at your routine, you might think, wow, this is way too structured. But believe me when I say, there is plenty of downtime for you. But we get to do things and anchor things in our calendar that are important to us. Right, now if you like this video, and we hope that you did, this next one, Healthy Habits for a Healthy Retirement, this is gonna walk you through why habits are important, how to start some new healthy habits, and how to make them part of your daily routine. So watch this one next.